All right, it's best of 2019 salt mixes. Uh, some of you may have seen a video I did on the best salt mix where I lied and said uh, we're not going to ever claim uh, the best out there, but today we're going to do it. Yeah, we're definitely going to pick the most popular, the most economical, well, the fastest mixing and the cleanest, lowest maintenance option. And then we're going to wrap it up with the most consistent and the best in show. Perfect. All right, so most popular salt mix, uh, as judged by units sold or buckets, which one is it? There was really close to a tie, so we have to give it to two salts in this one by a margin of 10 buckets, Tropic Marin Pro and the Red Sea Coral Pro. All right, so there was like 10 buckets apart between these things, a virtual tie, so we had to put them both up here. But, you know, uh, both of these guys have different kind of sales uh, pitches to it. You know, they got your pharmaceutical grade uh, material out there. We saw it mixes really mm -hmm. fast, we saw a bunch of other different things. You know, Red Sea's big pitches that uses natural sea uh, salts from mm -hmm. the Red Sea. But uh, in any case, in Red Sea is, you know, in almost like every store in the nation and uh, pretty popular. So not surprised to see, you know, both of these rise to the top as the number one most popular salt mixes as voted by you guys in What You're Buying. All right, so most economical option out here. I mean, I don't think anybody's gonna wonder which one that is. I know, this one has been a go-to for those seeking the cheapest option that gets the job done in their tanks. And based on our calculations of a 100 gallon tank doing 10% water changes, the bucket of this one uh, works out to be about 39 cents a gallon. I kind of applied that math forward to the box and the 200 gallon box should yield you about 170 gallons or so of 1.026 specific gravity water. And that ends up with an eight cents uh, a month savings at 31 cents a gallon. All right, so this is uh, basically what I grew up on. Can you say the same? Uh, this is this has been my go-to. This one in Reef Crystals, I've always sought out when I first was getting in the hobby, for sure. So if you want the cheapest option out there that will work, I think this is absolutely the option. You know, so mm. like in the terms of good, better, best, you know, good being the cheapest option that works, uh, like this is it. So uh, if you're looking to save, I think it's probably for like a hundred gallon tank, you're probably saving somewhere between five and ten dollars a month over some of the other options. Mm -hmm. And this is just the most economical option out there. So what's the next one? Mixes the fastest. Hmm. All right, so 2019 mixes the fastest. Uh, this one is like a confusing one because I think a lot of people just like look in it and say, oh yeah, it looks good. Yeah, uh, I mean, when I was mixing my salt down in my basement, it was in a brute trash can where the trash can's dark, the basement's dark. So when I don't see large uh, salt particles in the bottom of the bucket anymore, I think it's fully dissolved and mixed. And usually that was like a few hours and then I'd use it. But we tested this in a 24 hour time lapse across a variety of different salts. And the fastest one the, out of all of them ended up being the four parter, the ESV. No question. Even this one uh, took about four to seven hours to be fully dissolved as uh, you know, on camera in a well lit environment. Uh, some of them though were like well, 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 well over mm. 24 hours. And I think you know, maybe even 48 hours till it was totally, totally dissolved. So uh, if, if ever completely, because uh, some of it ended up yeah. being precipitating out in some of them. So uh, this one definitely, and I think there's a really solid reason as to why. Mm -hmm. It's a four part salt. It's unlike these, it's just a homogenous mix of salt in there. These are four mm -hmm. separate ones. You got your sodium chloride, step one. The sodium chloride Don't dissolves it. really fast. Yeah. Then you do your magnesium sulfate. So now there's magnesium already in the water, which will help prevent uh, any precipitation from happening because it's already present. Mm -hmm. And you add your calcium and your alkalinity mixes with all the trace and minor elements in there separately in the liquid form. Liquid form. And that's why, like, you know, in if it was in a dark basement, I'd say it was mixed inside of five minutes. Oh, yeah. Uh, inside <laughs> of a, you know, more controlled environment where you're really measuring it, it was a matter of just like a handful of hours. So. Yeah, I mean, this is pretty cool when you want like a, when you need salt fast, like this way to go. I mean, you can make and they have recipes for smaller batches, larger batches or what have you. Uh, but I mean, it's a four part system. So there is the added steps of doing the sodium chloride, waiting till that's dissolved, doing the mag and then waiting till that's dissolved, then the liquid components and stuff like that. So a little bit of extra prep time, but it will mix faster. So I will say out there, like a lot of people seem to pick salt based on how fast it dissolves. Oh, yeah. Like I, I pick it because it dissolves fast, it yeah. makes it clear, blah, blah, blah. So like this, if you're looking for the fastest one, it's definitely this. However, Tropic Marine was just a couple hours right behind it. And again, like two to three times faster than almost all of the rest. Uh, but it was just a little slower than this one. Yeah, so for a uh, fully homogenous dry salt mixture, without the four this steps. without the four steps, uh, this one is definitely my go-to. All right. 
right, so next up, best of 2019, mixes the cleanest and easiest with the lowest maintenance. All right, so cleanest and lowest maintenance salt out there, what was it? Uh, well, this one has to go to a tie between ESV and Tropic Marin Pro. Uh, in this one, in our extensive salt testing, where we mixed them up and stored, you know, different salts, there were some that ended up with brown crud in the bottom, and some that didn't have any like brown sheets crud. of it. Yeah. yeah. These were crystal clear. Yeah, and they did both it with, of them. Without heat, with heat, without flow, with flow, every arrangement possible. These guys came out clean in every single arrangement of mixing up salt. That means that your bins are clean. Mm -hmm. uh, we also ran through a sediment filter and uh, you know check for color or anything. They were clean as well. Yeah. Uh, you know a lot of them had uh, made the yellow filter or the filter all yellow from the yellow pigments and stuff in there. And so you know easiest maintenance because. Be other salts where the hair is that buildup. There is that, you know, crusty crud, brown stuff, maybe calcium carbonate, maybe other insoluble materials. These just don't have it, meaning I have less work in my salt bins that I have to, my mixing bins, my pumps, and all of this other stuff that I might have to do maintenance on. I'm lessening the amount of maintenance I need to do. And uh, reason for that, almost certainly, pharmaceutical grade uh, materials in here and pharmaceutical grade materials in here. Yeah. So the pharmaceutical grade, like ultra low uh, heavy metal sodium chloride and uh, USP grade magnesium sulfate in there and then there are two additives. And there's something to be said about the cleanest, you know, as far as the best of 2019 cleanest in that whatever that brown sludgy stuff is or insoluble materials, I don't get it with these, meaning it doesn't have the chance of going in my tank. Maybe good. Maybe Ooh, bad, no. who knows. Uh, I give them a preference, I don't want it in my tank. Mm. So uh, yeah, so this is like probably, like there's a lots of different things that everybody kind of says about salts out there, like you know, you know, why I would choose this one over that one, and does it grow corals better? And like, I don't think you'll ever get to the total bottom of like which one's gonna grow the corals the best, but there's some like real definable stuff out there. Like does it mix cleaner? You know, does it keep my bins clean? Am I like certain that because it's keeping my bins clean that none of that stuff ends up in my tank because there are definite times where I'm mixing up my salt and whatnot and then that brown sludge like breaks free and then it could very well just end up in my tank. <laughs> True. So, yeah, so you know, in this one right here, these two guys are a tie. It's almost certainly because they're using those pharmaceutical ingredients that have been purified uh, to the standard that they don't have all kinds of organics mm -hmm. and stuff from the uh, mining process yeah. and whatnot. So what's next? Next, we're gonna talk about consistency and that's from batch to batch as you mix up different uh, uh, batches of salt water. All right, so most consistent levels, meaning whether I scoop some salt off the top or I scoop some off the bottom, will it be consistent levels all the way throughout the whole bucket and give my tank consistent results? All right, so which one was the winner? This one was tough because uh, in the ICP testing results and the HANA alkalinity checker from our stratification test, Tropic Marin Pro was uh, almost 0% difference from top to bottom across the board. 0% calcium, 0% alkalinity, about 0.28% difference in magnesium. And then you get to uh, the ESV, which all of the numbers, the same calcium, alkalinity, magnesium of the majors, were under a 1% difference. So splitting hairs here in which one was better, both performed really well. So 1% is nothing. Uh, the difference between the top and the bottom, especially because some of them were off by 20% or more oh yeah and like when you're mixing your salt at your house and you're like hey this doesn't match this the bucket it may be just because some of it stratified out maybe because it didn't get mixed uh, well enough at, at the, the factory it's hard to say at which at which point but uh, this stuff was super homogenous it was the only one that came out with zero difference meaning uh, it was the exact same calcium number on the top and bottom alkalinity the same and just a tiny tiny fraction off uh, less than one percent on magnesium yeah and this was almost the same too but we also did trace elements so out of 11 salts, we tested 11 different salts, and out of the 11, the ESV on 37 elements uh, only had three of the 37 uh, above a 5% difference from the top to the bottom. These are trace elements, they're tiny, tiny little amounts of, um, uh, of these things in here. So to be able to be homogenous from top to bottom like that, no matter where you take it out of the bucket is uh, really, really, really awesome. Uh, that is the best performance you could expect. And 
it doesn't surprise you because of the methodology here, mm. where all these other salts are all mixed together and you're relying on them mixing at the factory perfect. In this case, uh, because you got the sodium chloride, then you had the magnesium sulfate, then all the trace minor and major elements are in those two Liquid. bottles that are liquefied. Uh, it's really, really easy to measure out and get the right amounts in there. Mm -hmm. So uh, it has a methodology. I got to give it to this one. Best of 2019. Most consistent salt from top to bottom just because I believe the methodology behind how they approach it is likely to produce the most consistent results from bucket to bucket, from house to house to reefer to reefer. All right, so what's the next one? Best in show. Ooh. All right, so best in show 2019, the salt that like is the best of the best, which one is it? Tropic Marin Pro. Not surprising, right? So, yeah, so this one, I mean, performed well in all of our salt testing. Uh, pharmaceutical grade ingredients here without uh, all of that crud that we've seen in some of the other salts. Uh, and for my vote, it mixes faster in a, than any other dry component now. So this is a dry salt mix. Everything's in there, you know, the minors, the majors, the traces, and uh, it just makes fast without me having to do like a four part system. It's also consistent from the top of the bucket to the bottom of the bucket. Even though this thing, you know, is being produced in Germany, hitting a rail car, going on a uh, steamship all the way <laughs> over to New York, then going from New York all the way to Minnesota, and then out from there, we're getting consistent results from the top of the bucket to the bottom of the bucket. Mm. It's what we use here at BRS. We had like, I don't even know how many tanks probably 60 some yeah. plus tanks uh, if you include all the testing tanks it's what we use here because i don't want to clean out the bins constantly i also don't want to accidentally dose like whatever the crusty brown is i have no idea what it is but i don't want it in our experiment tanks yep. and i actually don't even want it in my display tank either if it's only going to be a handful of dollars more i'm in if it was uh, uh unaffordable i would stay out in fact there's a whole bunch of customer service agents here that were like instant ocean fans and have been for a decade plus but after seeing the results firsthand, like I will spend the extra five bucks. Mm. Now they get a discount here, so it's probably only like 250 <laughs> extra for them. But at the same point, uh, I, I think it's the same. So yeah, so there was a we talked about the ESV and the Tropic Marin being so close together throughout the running of the uh, best mm -hmm. of 2019, and the only reason that we didn't go with ESV is because uh, end of the story, I don't want to mix four parts. So I'm not, I mean, there's people that will love to take the time and the effort to do the one part, come back to the second, and then the third and the fourth. I just kind of want to throw the salt in my thing and know that it's ready to go uh, without doing any extra steps. I'm sure that uh, once you get used to it, it's no big deal, yeah. right? Uh, my concern is actually when you're adjusting it. So mm -hmm. uh, if I mix the exact amount that I needed, but like, what if I need an extra five gallons, you know? And then I'm like kind of playing mad scientist with it. Mm -hmm. So uh, that is my only concern about this one, but there's so many reasons that actually doing sodium chloride, dissolving it first, then the magnesium, and then having liquefied elements is actually like the best approach to doing this, mm -hmm. but I just have to say that every reefer I've talked to ends up, I'd just rather mix one thing. And so uh, I wouldn't blame you if you guys came to the conclusion that this was best in show, but for us, uh, this is the one, this yep. one we use here. And for me, uh, that's it. So what would we like to see for 2020 improvements for salt? All right, so desired improvements for 2019. The first thing that I would like to see is truth in advertising, uh, <laughs> like some kind of standard out here mm -hmm. because all of these buckets say 200 gallons, 160, mm -hmm. and all of them are just lying to you. Yeah, yeah. Like they uh, do various degrees, right? So different salt mixes, it's mm -hmm. very deceiving. With one exception. There was, uh, this was one of my fun, the funnest tests that we did was the cost per gallon to find out, all right, if the bucket says you get, you know, 160 or 200, uh, when you actually weigh it out and you make five gallons at a salinity that almost all of us use, like 1.026, uh, how much do you actually get from the bucket? And there was one outlier that actually had the amount uh, on the bucket that they actually made, and that was Brightwell's Neomarine. I was surprised. Like, that was the only one out there that actually made the amount that was on the bucket. All the rest of them uh, fabricated. It's almost like if you were buying a car and it said, you know, get 30 <laughs> miles a gallon except for in fine print, if you drive two miles an hour. <laughs> like True. nobody's using the car that way. So uh, <laughs> it is not an accurate way to say that. So for 2020, 
A big props to anybody who steps forward mm. and just says the accurate amount on the bucket. It shows that you're listening and it shows that uh, you want to uh, have an honest uh, relationship with the people that are buying products for, uh, of your products. And it just means a whole lot to me when I can believe what people are saying. Yeah, there's another one that I really like uh, for 2020, an improvement. I, there's a couple salts out there, Red Sea being one of them and Aqua Force being another that have like uh, Red Sea is called My Batch. Uh, they have ICP tested from their batches of the salt mix that they drive that they make at the factory to where you can test your your salt and you know match it based off of those My Batch or the ICP analysis from uh, Aqua Force. So. Yeah. I think everybody should do that. Yeah, absolutely. It'd be nice to see the transparency that comes from that of, hey, man, we actually test this stuff, we put a serial number on it, and we'll give you the data, knowing full well you can do all your own ICP testing and match it up against that. So mm -hmm. that transparency there, I would love to see all of the brands out there start ICP testing their salt and uh, you know, kind of put a little bit of proof where the pudding is. So uh, I'd love to, love to see that. Yeah. All right, so in relation to that, I'd love to see a guaranteed analysis too. Okay. Like okay. Uh, I'd like to see right on the bucket what you say should be in here and uh, like uh, what's the potassium level, you know, what's mm. uh, the iodine level, whatever. I want to see a guaranteed analysis on there. What did you put in this bucket? And so I know and I can, I can kind of hold it to that standard, right? Yeah. So without that, we're just kind of wondering. And I know that there's some of the manufacturers out there are worried, you know, if I give away secret the secret recipe, recipe yeah. or the secret sauce. You know, I, I will tell you in everything I've done in reefing, transparency and honesty pays off. Oh, and yeah. in every, every, every case. So like, uh, you know, listen up, man. Hopefully we get <laughs> some transparency and honesty. Put on the side of it, guaranteed analysis. Stand behind your work and tell the universe, man, this is how we do it here. Hmm. Right, so what's the next one? Uh, something I'd like to see, you know, uh, I do like these big buckets, especially if you're mixing, you know, larger uh, gallons or larger portions. Uh, but I'm a big fan of this single use pouch type uh, era that we're in. So between like our pharmaceutical grade chemical senior or single use pouches, uh, there are some salt manufacturers out there that you have single use, you know, bags or pouches. Uh, the one that stands out to me was the two little fishies where you can get the smaller box. Each of those bags makes about five gallons. Uh, you can get the larger box where each of those bags make like 50 gallons. So I get an option uh, to where one, I'm not, uh, I'm not jeopardizing or, you know, the, not exposing the rest of the salt mix to air or water or whatever. In environments Community. around. Yeah, uh, I can open it when I'm ready and it makes exactly what I want. And if I want 10 gallons, I need two bags. So I'd like to see like some common sizes, like uh, lots and lots and lots of people have like 30 gallon brute trash cans mm, or whatnot, they mix their salt in. So like a 30 gallon pouch, you know, or, you know, think about like common tank sizes, 120, I wanna do a 15 gallon water change or, or percent on there, or, or percent water change. So like, you know, get some, get some common sizes out there. Like mm. five is nice, but like, I think a lot of people would like single uses. Uh, I know I just fill my bin up to this level with water dump this salt in every time yeah I barely even need to use my hydrometer or a, a refractometer at that point yeah. because like I know that this matches up to uh, like how much salt I do every time and it probably changed a little bit based on humidity and the salt and whatnot but not more than you think yeah so let's let's see uh, I'd, li I'd like to see that more I think uh, tr two little fishes really got brave and stepped out on that front let's uh, step it up again there's a few there's a few other ones out there that it's not single individual uses but like mm. Red Sea has a 55 gallon bucket Tropic Marin has like an 80 gallon bucket uh, Aquaforce has a smaller size also so those can be beneficial to some people but man I just love to rip open a pouch and then that's all I need yeah so in, in my house uh, I'll definitely have probably a 60 or 80 gallon water bin to mix my salt in so if I can buy those little sizes and just dump the whole thing in and be done with it yeah. uh, like it's absolutely worth a few bucks for me yeah so for sure. uh, you know uh, if it's in a bag or a bucket I prefer actually bags uh, because I don't have to waste that bucket or have them pile them up and fill up my trash can I, yeah. I mean after you have a few you don't need any more true so the next one is get rid of the crud man just get rid of the crud and all of the There's... all the salts that have brown stuff in it some of us are willing to tolerate it yeah. and then that it builds up in there but you know what nobody wants it there isn't a single person out there is like more crud 
No. And they're like, uh, not one person. No, this is one that uh, when we're kind of researching that uh, investigative testing we did on salt mixes, you go over to reef to reef and you can see, you know, threads of people who share the bottom of their brute trash cans and share the bottom of their, uh, their mixing barrels. And you can see just how, you know, rampant this uh, problem is where it's just a buildup of stuff in the bottom. And some people are concerned about it, some people less so. Well, you kind of just thought it was normal. Yeah. Like, I know I thought it was normal. So, uh, like, we've been cleaning out our, our, our our water bins here like forever mm. right it just felt like I don't know why this happens but it happens <laughs> with almost every salt actually it happened with every salt that we did until yeah. we found this guy yeah right true. and so every salt that we had used uh, always did some forms mm. uh, uh, of crud in there and we go through a lot of water here so it matters but even in my house you know I'm mixing up the salt in the bins and like once in a while you just see all of it gets stirred up it just it just feels normal until you realize that it isn't normal, <laughs> or maybe it is normal, but there's an option out there or options mm -hmm. that, like, I don't have to have that. So, hey, you know, it'd be awesome if, uh, I think it's probably mostly in the sodium chloride, so pick a better grade of sodium chloride that goes in there because it makes up a vast majority of the salt that it's goes in there. a good place to start, yeah. Yeah, and uh, let's up the game. I mean, so if you get rid of the crud and you start being transparent in some of the things that you're putting in there and maybe you make some smaller batch sizes and then, you know, back it up with uh, some truth in advertising on how much this makes in 30 real dust, life. 30? Yeah. Uh, I mean, do all that and how much is that going to cost you a, a month uh, in addition? For some of these, uh, you know, more economical salts, probably a difference of like four or five bucks a month. I bet you you could do all of those things that we're asking yeah. for and uh, increase the cost of the salt, maybe five bucks a month. Everybody wins. We all get a better product. So that's what we hope to see for 2020. And uh, we'll see if the same salts win next year. All right, so for the full library of all the salt videos that we did this year, including all of those tests we did in 2019, you can go to the website. It's in the category header of all the pages of the website, little video link, or you can go over right here and there's a hot link right to that page. You can find all the information that we've done on salt. So check it out.